everyone, it's Linnea for LDRS Creative, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Pirouette Pattern Templates along with the new Trick or Treat Pirouette Stamp Set to create a fall card. The Trick or Treat Pirouette is absolutely gorgeous and you can make lots of Halloween cards, but I wanted to start with fall. So I cut a piece of white cardstock to be four and a quarter by four and a quarter inches square. And I'm going to use the pirouette pattern template to position my image. So I used some double-sided adhesive and temporarily adhered that white cardstock, lining that up with the four and a quarter inch markings. Then I placed that overlay on top and line that up with the arrows on the left and the right and that's going to show me exactly where to put my first image. You want to stay within those guidelines of the circle and then what you're going to do is just stamp. I'm using Coffee Bean LDRS Creative Hybrid Ink and you're going to stamp and then turn your paper lining that up with those guidelines each time. So sometimes you're going to have a regular square and sometimes it's going to be kind of like a diamond appearance but you're going to be able to turn your cardstock and stamp eight times. Now this is the way the template is intended to be used, but I'm going to show you an easier and faster way for my second stamping. So here I am again, lining up that template and using those guidelines, there are little hash marks cutting that circle into eight equal pie pieces and you wanna stay in between those lines. Now I have another little sprig here and I am using dandelion ink. This is my favorite yellow ink. I use it for everything. So I definitely need a new pad, but here's my trick. I like to ink up and then turn my whole pirouette pattern template. Remember that I have that piece of cardstock temporarily adhered onto there. I find that this is a lot faster than trying to peel this off of the adhesive and line it up with those squares each time. So I'll make four stamping and turning my paper or the whole pirouette template. And then I will turn my paper just one turn and line it up so it's in the diamond orientation. And then I can do my other four stampings and that's going to make all eight stampings complete. I will show you this again, just so that you can understand what I do. You can absolutely use the pirouette pattern templates the way they're intended to be used and just adhere your cardstock on there and then kind of pick it up and turn it each time. But I find that this saves me a lot of time. Okay, so here we go. Lining up another stamp using that pirouette pattern template, staying within my little pie pieces. And then I'm just going to ink up. I am using Scarlet Rose ink and I'm just stamping the little leaf. I'm turning my entire pirouette pattern template. And then once I stamp all four times, I will pick up my paper and turn that so it's in the, um, the next orientation, so the diamond orientation, and then stamp four more times, completing my eight stampings. I didn't wanna cover up too much of that really gorgeous background. So I decided to just grab a sentiment and die cut that out and set that right in the middle. My sentiment is coming from the Happy Fall stamp set. This is an older LDRS creative stamp set, but it works perfectly with my design. I'm going to stamp out my sentiment and I'm using In Your Face Orange, and then I'm going to die cut that using some dies from the new Elegant Stitched Frames Slimline die set. I'm just using the, um, the little sentiment dies there, the like kind of oval dies that's going to fit perfectly around my sentiment. I'm going to layer up my background so I have a piece of red cardstock on top of a four and a half by four and a half inch card base. And then I will put my pirouette pattern template piece right on top. And then I'm going to add my sentiment with foam tape. And I did cut the, out that sentiment from the white cardstock and then back it with the red. And that's going to tie in perfectly with that red border. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you got some tips and tricks using the Pure Wet Pattern template. I'll see you soon. Bye.